broadcasting from the uh, from Tampa Bay area. This is the Ivan Teller Show. I'm Ivan Teller. Tonight we're going to have a free psychic reading. We're going to go through your calls. Tonight is Super Bowl Sunday, just in case any of you missed that. Um, I'm still trying to figure out, you know, the whole deal about guys chasing a ball, how that, how appealing that is. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, tonight we're going to go through your calls, and uh, we missed one call last uh, Friday. Oh yeah, I want to mention the Sunday shows are going to be every other Sunday or not. I'll, you can check Blog Talk or Imanteller dot com. It'll be on there. It's going to be sporadic. Usually be every other Sunday unless I got something going on. So Saturdays are off because I need a break. Um, Let's see. Uh, we have a. Oh yeah, I'm gonna cut the show. Once you go through all the calls, we don't have any calls. You know, when I run through everything and we got nothing, I'll talk about UFOs for a little bit, and then I'll probably end the show early. So we'll see how things go. So we have plenty of time for who we have online. Uh, I have a email uh, question from Susan. She's asking about her. She has a. Uh, uh, a relationship coming up for in the near future. All right, let's see here. I don't know, Susan, if you are listening. Well, if you call it in again, that's fine. If you call it in, we can go into more details if you want. That's fine. Um, uh, what I, I let me re, okay, let me ground again. I picked up something earlier, but I want to make sure this is all uh, concrete. Okay, uh, Susan, um, as for a relationship, yeah, I picked up a, um, as for when this is going to happen, I think you're already social somewhat, so I think you have to, what I picked up is you have to get your, some, some things organized in your life, some situation in your life organized, if that makes any sense. Um, I, I picked up this uh, male, uh, brown hair, something around his 30s, uh, kind of clean cut, uh, something to do with finance. Um, as for when you're going to meet him, I don't know, it's something on your area that has to be cleared up, if that makes any sense. Something on your er your end has to be resolved or something like that for him to come through. So I don't know if it's... Anyway, if you want to call in to go through that a little bit more, I make you know we can do that. Let's see if I can pick up anything else. That's about it for right now. Okay, let's see here. All right, we're going to run through your calls. And area code three one three. Hi, how are you? Hi, Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Happy Sunday. Yeah. Night. Happy Sunday to you too. Yeah. I was wondering, when do you pick up on a guy named Sam around me, and when would I hear from him? Do he have any type of feelings towards me? What is going on? I haven't heard from him in a couple of weeks. I have your uh, name? I'm sorry. You have your name? Sherelle. Your name? Sherelle. 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 Okay. All right, let's see. Sam. All right, one second. I need to ground a little bit. Okay. Thank you. May I have uh, permission to read you? Sure. Yes. Sam. I have more than permission. Okay, thank you. And you're wondering when you're going to meet him again, or if he's going to no. contact you again? Uh, yeah, that too. But I was wondering, like, how does he feel about me? Do he even have any type of feelings? Why is he acting like that towards me? Anything you pick up. Well, I feel he has a lot on his plate right now. Um, he's uh, kind of immature. Does that make any sense? 
Mm-hmm. Yes. He's into sports. Um, he's basketball. Um, I don't know. It's just uh, I don't know. He seems kind of distant right now. Yes, he yeah, is. He's, he's got. He's got something else. He has. He calls you when he feels like it. Basically, you know, yes. Out of the blue. Mm-hmm. Um, he's not much of a friend, it seems like, in that regard. Um, yeah. He thinks mm-hmm. more about himself. Uh, he's in. How, I mean, how he feels about you. Um, I mean, he sees you as a friend, as a. You know, but. He's got. I don't think he's a. Oh, girl. He has, just has a lot of things going on that are... Yeah, he has... Yeah, he's in a relationship. Okay. Yeah, that's what you're um, about Yeah, he has so many things going on. I don't even see the relationship, but it must be there somewhere. He's got... Well, when I'm picking up something on his mind, like... It's almost like a block. I'm not even getting into that. I'm not getting exactly what it is, but there is a lot on his mind. Uh, yeah, he just calls you when he when he needs you. Um, that's crazy. Needs your needs your input. Um, that's for come. I mean, I mean, you think he's gonna like leave his girlfriend for you or something like that? Is that where you're going at, or or no? I don't. Like I don't that? think that's gonna. No, I don't think that's or gonna just, happen. I'm just saying. Huh? Or just to see if it's a friend, what kind of friendship it is, or yeah, like do you think we would continue being friends, or do you think like yeah, like we would ever okay? But he's not very dedicated. Not... He, he's kind of scattered. He's kind of I don't know where he's going right now. So he won't he won't contact me no more. I'm planning on getting me a new number. And I don't know if I should give it to him or not. Because uh, if, he, if I haven't heard from him in two weeks and I get, go ahead and give him, give him my new number, I don't think he's going to well, use it. Yeah, because it feels like he's very selfish. He doesn't really care about your needs, you, you know, as a friend. I mean, he does in some yeah. ways if he has to, but it seems like he, just, he has priorities somewhere else, let's put it that way. Okay. So. It can go by your own feelings. I mean, if you haven't heard from him for this long and you contacted him, you know, it's up to you. If you feel bad by not doing it, then might as well, you know, might as well give him your new number. But if you don't have a problem, you know, not giving it to him, then that I would follow that, you know. Just follow okay. your own. Follow your own instincts if... If that, you know. But yeah, he seems really distant. He's just. I don't know yeah. I'd uh, I, I be trying to tell him, like, without the friend I am, and how would it be like without me being in his life? And he just don't care. Yeah. Like, he don't care. Yeah. Just, but I know he needs to have support, and I'd be trying to be there and talk to him, like, everything going to be okay. Well, I send messages, like, everything will be okay. He just don't care. Yeah, he's just he's he's in his own world. It's something that he has to go through. So, I mean, if he wanted he wanted to talk to you, I imagine he can find a way to call find you. I I imagine he could, I guess, okay. if that's possible through your friend network, maybe. But you know, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I mean, okay. Yeah, it's sad. Did, but did I ask you one more quick question? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I was wondering, like, what is my strongest gift? I would say, um, that makes sense. Being social, being, um, showing compassion for people is definitely, you know, your, what do you call it, customer service? Um, I always want to say the arts, but I don't think that's or art. Because so. some people say I'm, I'm I don't think that's right. Empath. 
Yeah, I don't think the orange is red, but I always throw that in. <laughs> um, yeah, like, uh, what do you call it? Humanitarian type of person, you know, here to help people. and That's your cool. organization. I think you're organized. I feel that like you're organized somewhat better than most people. Let's put it that way. Uh, you're very vocal about things that you believe in, so, mm-hmm. so I think you'd be okay. good, yeah. yeah, that makes any sense, thank so. you, okay, you're welcome, thank you, that's, 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 that's for me to just leave them alone, basically, yeah, yeah, that's, following that's your own, crazy, obviously follow mm-hmm. your own instincts, but yeah, I, I try to, them. it's crazy, I, know. I try to leave them alone, you don't want to let them go, yeah, you don't want to let them go, I, know, I don't, but. I don't, I don't want more of it. I don't want, like, I don't see myself in a relationship with him. That's not what I'm looking for. I just yeah. want our friendship to be yeah. better. That's he's not going to be much. I want a relationship. Not, yeah, and he's not going to be much of a friend either. Seems no. like. Unfortunately, but that's the way it is. So, okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank right. you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. Um, okay, we have uh, area code 561. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Have, you, have your, have your uh, name and question. Stacy. Um, I wanted to see what you see coming after me or God's to career. Please. All right, one second. Okay. All right, give me a second to ground. Uh, as for career, like when it's going to happen or what, what you should go into? Yeah. I don't know what you should... Mm-hmm. What's that Oh, does accounting sound right? Something with numbers, something no? Does that sound right? Yeah. Was that was that no? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, give me a second. I don't know. Oh, wait. Forgot one thing. Can I have, can I have permission to read you? Sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah, the guides are kind of okay. That helped. Uh, something with school, uh, I don't know about teaching, um, no, that doesn't seem right. Something with education, does that make sense? Maybe not Career teaching, life? but, maybe not teaching, but maybe in the educational field, you know, working in education, you know, does that make any sense? Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. Hmm? No. That doesn't make any sense either? Uh-uh. All right, let me tap into it. Yeah, they're not being, they're not being very vocal at all with you for some reason. Let me see if I can get in through. I'm not getting anything. Um, you want to run through something that you're interested in that seems 
But try it that way. I'm not getting well, anything. What do you see in regards to love? Okay. Um, as for something coming up for you or something that you're in or... Something coming up. Something coming up. Yeah, your guys are really not giving me any much of anything. Jeez. Let me ask you again. Can I have your permission to read you? Again? Sure, you can. Yeah, they're being real strict with you. I can't get through anything. Let me see. All right, give me yeah, give me a second. Let me just keep trying. Not giving me a thing. Nothing. <laughs> Guess you have a wall around you. Um. Well, go to someone else and then see. I don't know. Oh, they didn't say anything either? <laughs> no, no, no. I said go to someone, take another call, maybe. I don't know. You want to go on hold and I'll call, come back to you? You want to do that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do that. All right. Sorry about that. Might be an off night, too. Sorry about that. All right. We'll try that. Okay. Uh, Eric code uh, 856. Hi, this is Laura. Hi. Hi. Have your question and uh, yeah, your, uh, I have your name now. Can I have your question? I was wondering if you're picking up anything about when I'll be getting a job next. Seems to be pretty. I mean, you're looking right now. I mean, you're. It seems to be pretty soon. You'd be finding something. Um, At least in a couple of, couple of weeks at least. Um I'm feeling uh temp services. Have you tried any of those or anything like that? Temporary? Well I I do contract work, so and I have been applying for contracts, but I've also been applying for permanent full time positions. So you think it's gonna be a contract, one of the contracts that I yeah. I think that'll, that'll come first, but I think you should still go for your other. I think I still keep looking. Um, you know, the contract stuff. Something's going to come up very soon for the contract. Take that okay. and then keep looking for what you uh, what you rather something that you're more interested in. Well, I really, I really want to buy a home and get settled down once and for all. Mm -hmm. Are they giving you any idea of where that's going to happen? And is it going to be in New Jersey, or would I end up moving farther away out of state? Yeah, I think it'd be. I think it'd be in New Jersey. I don't think it's going to be further out of state. Okay. All right. That's good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I think you think be more comfortable there. That's what it seems. So, okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. All right. Okay. Uh, of area code eight. Uh, sorry, nine five one. Hello. Hello. You have your name in question? Yes, it's uh, Nathaniel. I'm, uh, oh, hey. I'd like Hi, uh, I talked to you, was it just this week? I don't know if it was yesterday, the day before. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, um, how's it going? 
pretty good. I wonder to see if you're getting anything for me at, at all on anything. I don't know if I should ask a question or not. Uh, yeah, give me a yeah, give me a question. Be easier. <laughs> That'd be um, yeah. Look, do you see me coming into some money this year, or uh, it's be pretty um, looking for work? Uh, yeah, be. I feel. Let's see, the end of uh, yeah, the end of February. Um, I figure you'll be finding something. Bef- you, you should be finding something soon, though. Something should be stirring up very. Should something should be coming up very soon for you, to, at least for a job prospect. But as for getting the money, it'd be, you know, slow. You know. I'd, yeah. Checks take checks take a while to come through, but I think you'll be finding something very soon though. It's great. I just heard of it. They needed a security guard at the Ramada, and um, I don't know. It's kind of close, but uh, it's for graveyard. But I don't know. You don't see me getting that, do you? Do you have any idea? Uh, it's security guard. Yeah, it's very possible. Um, of course, that thing takes a very long time for them to get through everything. Um, it's very par- very possible. Let's put it this way: they have they haven't made a decision yet. Let's put it that way. Um, I would feel it should be pretty soon where you're going to hear back from them, though. I actually haven't applied for that job. I just gave someone a call, so I mm-hmm. had a in the Harley Davidson place. That place might be more fun to. Work at mm-hmm. Harley Davidson, no motorcycles, mm-hmm. but you know, do appla- uh, you feel anything with that job? Or have you already applied there? Yes, I've applied, and uh, I had an interview, and um, they seemed to like That's right. me. But That's right. You mentioned that. That's right. Um, the feeling that I get from them is that they're already overstaffed. And yeah. They, so. I don't think it's going to be very likely, but you never know. But it doesn't look very likely right now. I called so. back and somebody said something about, well, I'm the president of the sales team. So I, there's so many salespeople, you know, they want to mm-hmm. interview people. You know, mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. It may, I thought it was going to be more of a, you know, easy one to get. But if they got too many salespeople already, that you know, yeah, they got to out who's selling motorcycles and who's not, so. Yeah. Uh, hey, well, thanks a lot. Okay. All right, thanks. Yeah, thanks for calling. Yeah, feel okay, free to call back. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, area code 337. You're on the line. You're on the phone. Something like that. You're live. Hi, my name is Hi. Erica. First time caller. Whoa. Have your question? Uh, yeah, just kind of curious as to what's coming up to me, up for me. Um, really, I'm open to know anything about any areas, love, money, you know, what career field will I move to. I don't know if it's going to be later this year or next year. I'm recovering from a um, work injury. I'm also on medical leave, so I'm thinking about just doing something entirely. And I welcome the opportunity of, you know, having someone in my life as well. So, uh, what's your, um, give me your most, the one that you want the most, which question you want the answer to the most? Let's try that one. Oh, the answer the most? Yeah. Um, okay. Do I have any, um, what most people do? They got any love coming up for pretty soon. My name is Erica. Erica. May I have permission to read you? I need permission. Mm-hmm. Just, just, just may I have permission to read you? I need to. Yes, yes, certainly. Okay, Erica, for love. Um, uh, and you said for love, right? That not too, not not anytime soon because you have to get through what you're going through right now. Um, I fear in a couple months you'll get back on your feet, get everything, get your head straight and everything. And I'm not sure if. If 
I'm not sure if this is right, but uh, like a, I don't know if you go to church or anything yeah. like that. Oh, go a ahead. What? what was that? What? Uh, what was that? I'm just telling you, just read whatever it says. We never know okay. how it's going to. Um, yeah, um, I don't know if you go to church at all. Or no, some kind not exactly. Of, or some kind of service or something around those lines or some kind of... Um, some kind. Well, Maybe a crowd, a concert, or something. Yeah, like something like that. Let's put it that way. Or a yeah. gathering. Some kind of gathering. Let's put it that way. Uh, something like that, where you know, something like a ritual, something that goes on. Maybe um, I'm not seeing music. Uh, it might be music. Okay. It might be a some kind of social. Let's put it this way: uh, some kind of social event, not necessarily. Music. It could be a like a meetup or something around those lines. Um, okay. Feeling a couple months, you'd be going to something unexpected. You will go to something, and that's when you'll meet, you know, like-minded people, and you'll find a, someone around. I feel around your age that will will be entertaining. Let's put it that way. That you'll. That's <laughs> the, not to say it would yeah, be a life. Yeah, to be entertaining, huh? Yeah, that has to be somebody that sparks your interest. So, yeah, be a couple of months, though. You have to get your situation organized. And then um, some kind of social event. It's going to be something yeah, outdoors. To something outdoors. Yeah, I said church because I don't know why. But anyway. Oh, it'll be, be a little warmer then. Yeah, it'll be something outdoors, something Green grass. It might be uh, who knows, like arts and crafts thing or something. It's something, something outdoors. It'd wow, be uh, something. Un- okay. I'll have to look into that. It'll you be unex- know. It'll be unexpected. Let's put it that way. It's not something you're going to be planning on. It's like, oh, let's go to this and then, and something will happen. But, you know, that's going to be a like while. Pop you- in last minute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Because I'm hardly a last minute person. So yes. Yeah, it's unexpected. So. <laughs> it would have to be last minute. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to be something you're going to be planning or anything like that. It's just something. Oh, let's check this out. So it's interesting or something like. Or a friend might mention it or something around those lines. So, so whatever it is, it'll be good for you to get out and so. So um, so that should be about it, it. it. Yeah. Okay, is that is that the only question I can ask? Uh, yeah, you got another one. Yeah, uh, real quick. Okay. Thank. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Have you got you got a quick one or? Yeah, it was um, about um, what area career field. I'm coming out of accounting, so I'm thinking if there's something better that I'll do better with my my skill, my time. You know what I mean? Better spent. You know, than having to deal with numbers and computers and all the stress of of government work. So I'm wondering if there's in my Really, you really kind of want to be true to yourself as to what you're yeah. really supposed to be here and doing. So sometimes that's hard to figure out. So if I don't know if you can help me figure that out or just kind of lean me there, that would help. In- well, um, I don't know if this makes any sense. The first thing that came to mind yeah. was uh, uh, what was that? Uh, children. Something to do with children. Does that make any sense? No. Not Either. No, not entirely. No. no. No, nothing. I used to teach, but I don't think I'll go back and do that unless it's in a different aspect well, or something. I don't know. You never know. Um. Yeah, I'm getting. Uh, if you, I don't know, this might make any sense right now, but later on maybe it will. Like younger ones, younger children, maybe something around those lines. Maybe not necessarily involved with them, but maybe involved with. A job that has to do with kids, but maybe not interacting with them or something like that. You know, it might be something around those lines. That makes opportunity sense. range. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to say. But. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. You Thanks. have a good evening. Yeah. You too. Thanks. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, area code eight one eight. Yes. Thank you Hi. for taking my call. Yeah, thank you. Can you have your name and your um, question? Yes, my name is Suzanne. And mm-hmm. actually, actually, my question is very unusual. One thing that I don't like even asking about, okay? 
So do you believe that the black magic, such as jinx, sex, curse, do they exist? And yes, more yeah, yeah, importantly, yeah. do they work? Yeah, it depends on who does it. Yes, it depends on the... You still hear me? Yeah. Okay, so the reason that I'm asking you is this, that uh, for decades and decades, my life is a total mess as hell, mm -hmm. you would say. Mm -hmm. And so is the life of my only child, my son. However, in some areas, he has a little success, a little good luck, but not for me, nothing, nothing. Whatever I try, whatever I think, whatever I plan, nothing will happen. And I'm very artistic, very talented. I've been trying to start my own uh, jewelry business because I'm making it extremely beautiful jewelry pieces. So if I would start that, I would become financially independent. However, whatever I did for over nine plus years, it is not happening. So to cut this short, do you see that there is any curse on me or on my son? No, I don't think so, no. Um, I mean, oh, let's see. I mean, you can go to a metaphysical, like a metaphysical church, or it's not a church. Uh, metaphysical. I guess they call them churches. Metaphysical church, and talk to someone there, see if they can, you know, have you treated by someone that can look into something like, you know, to give you the, you know. To cleanse you, um, another way of cleansing is uh, sea salt. You can bathe in sea salt. That's one way to cleanse any negativity that's around you, um, you and your son. Um, well, sir, I'm extremely spiritual. Yeah. Not a new agey. I'm extremely spiritual. Done a lots of lots of uh, research and studying, so I could even teach a class, and I've done a lot of cleansing, different types of cleansing, affirmations, prayers, this and that, you name it. And then I wait and wait, wait and wait. The years are passing by. Nothing is happening. So do you need that I need a professional help? No, I don't think so. Um at least, do you see that I will start my uh, jewelry business? Uh, yes, but you got to take it. Uh, it's going to. I'm getting. You got to take it slow, but yes, I think so. And the economy is not exactly doing great right now, but yes, I think it will. That will. You have to sell it in the right areas. Yes, I think that will go. That will work for you. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm meeting with a lot of people again. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, do you see approximate time, like uh, within a month, three months? Um, it all depends on how soon you want to. Go. Are you already selling it right now? No, you... I wasn't selling. Uh, I, I need to get the right person because these are the stuff that I cannot sell just to everybody. They are extremely, extremely beautiful, and uh, I should get the right people for this. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think uh, as soon, once you start it, I think it'll be very soon when you'll get, you'll make a sale, let's put it that way, as long as you're connected with the right people, yeah. What you're planning, I think it will. It'll, it'll slowly happen, but yeah, I think you're on the right right track, definitely. I think you, yeah, you know what you're doing, so you're yeah. I think your luck's about to change. Let's put it that way. So remember, remember when you feel like nothing's happening for you, that's a that's what we call a desert period. So 
When you're in the desert, well, you're in not, nothing decades, happens. As I'm telling you. Yeah. Sir. Well, no, it happens for decades. I mean, it can. I've been through them. I know exactly what you're going through. Okay. Uh, well, that last very yeah, go ahead. question, please. I'll yeah. let you have uh, other people talking. Uh, yeah. Do you think that I should move because I live in uh, L.A.? No, I think you're fine right you. I think you're fine right now. Unless you feel like okay. you need to move. I think you're fine. Where you are. I don't think you're okay. I don't think you're okay. cursed or anything. It's just, you know, we all feel like we're cursed. Um but if you feel like you need to be cleansed, I think you should find you know I know you're not into metaphysical science, but you can look into metaphysical science and um there's metaphysical stores and they have people there that can that can actually re- read you and tell you, you know, they're like uh, medical intuitives and they can tell you what can make you feel better, you know, like, like a certain kind of candle or Believe something. me, sir, I've done everything. You've done that? Oh, okay. Yeah, so many things. Uh, and after I then, know. I wait and wait. Anyway, uh, thank you so very yeah. much. Okay. Peace and like my brother. Yep. Yeah, good luck. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Okay, area code 541. Hi. Hi. You have your name and question. My name is Anna, and um, I'm wondering what you can pick up on my creative endeavors. I have um, a whole bunch of projects that I've kind of working on on a astral level perhaps on a mental level <laughs> and I'm wondering what you see with them that's really going to sell or what you're going to do with them or or what um yeah there's several different some are artsy some are more inventions some are ideas that will help people um where do you see this going Um, yeah, I feel like you're having, you haven't uh, you haven't gotten contact with the right people. Does that make any sense? You know, to yeah. To help you, mm-hmm. to help you get out there. Um, like art shows or something like that. Um, that's uh, I feel in the like in a couple months something will uh, something will happen. But you're already looking right for people to get contacted with to show your stuff to you. Yeah. I just don't know which um it, there's one company that I've been talking to about the invention part of it and I'm not sure if they're the right person, the right group to work with or another and then I have art. I'm a photographer as well and that can go in many directions. Mhm. And I'm um, not sure where to where to go with it. Let's see here. Photography definitely, um, like art, art photography. That's what you're. Mhm. Art photography. Well, yeah, I take pictures of many different things, and they're just very soothing, very spiritual. Yeah. Oriented, and yeah. I think in a couple months you'll find somebody to get, like a gallery or somebody you get involved with. Um, you just gotta. Sometimes you just can't do anything. You have to just sort of wait for an opportunity. Um, one thing I'm getting is like in a couple of months you're going to find something to find. Either you're going to find it on your own to uh, put yourself out there. I think it's going to be more of a. Yeah, it's even more of an art gallery type of. I mean, you can contact galleries, do something like that, and the mm-hmm. more you contact, the more your name gets out there. I think that's a way to go with art galleries. Not that it shows uh, art shows, maybe. I think out gal- galleries will have more success with, but it's going to take a while. Mm-hmm. And what about people- online? Online. Yeah, um, I think. Uh, I 
is so saturated right now with um online's good. Something with the galleries are gonna I think that's gonna work better for you for some reason. That's gonna I would say that's gonna to ignite everything. Um online yeah, I'm getting mixed messages from online. I think something like a like a gallery in your area or a gallery somewhere is going yeah, I feel art gallery is probably the best way best place for your stuff. Um yeah, don't sell yourself too short if you do it at a um at a festival or something, you know, like a craft show or something like that or um you know, an art show. Actually an art show would be good, but um something with a gallery I think will work work good for you. You just have to connect to the right people. So I just send your resumes out, send your stuff out to everybody and eventually somebody will will get contact with you. So that's the way. Mhm. And what about sense. my invention? Do you see that going in the right direction into a place that fruitions? What is it invention of or you don't have to give me too much detail. Well, um, some of it is uh, medical assistive devices, and some of it is just kind of whimsical things to help parents and children. Um, Thanks. Let's see, inventions. That's, that one's going to take a little bit of time. Yeah, there are networks for stuff like that. Yeah, online is definitely right for that. <laughs> There's like um uh, what do they call them? Um like venture capitalists or something like that. I don't know if that's what you're looking for, but um something around those lines, venture capital or something around those lines that can help help you build your product, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um something around well, those there's lines. One, there's one yeah. company that I did start talking with that can Take it, you know, through market testing and, um, you know, making up prototypes and look at patenting. They can they can do all the research and the sales. They can take it out and do sales for you. But I don't know if they're the right person. I haven't talked to anybody else. I like them, but, you know, because I haven't really talked to anybody and people have said, oh, you know, they can scam you, and I'm just hesitant. So I don't oh, know if I mm-hmm, found the right person. Oh, you're sensitive. This company, I think they're, I think they're pretty legit. It's just they take forever to do, get anything done. I well, it's pre- it's a time-consuming process. Yeah. 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 I think they're, I think they're pretty legit. It's just it's just going to be a long time. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, I think you're going you're in the right direction for that. Yeah. Okay. All okay. right. So, okay. Well, thank okay. you. All right, thank okay. you. I think Bye. Bye. Okay, I have area code uh, six seven eight. Whoa. Hi. 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 You have your my name, name and Gina. question. Gina. Hello. Hi. My first time calling. Hi. And um, I have two quick questions, uh, but it's tied up to my career. Um, one, the first one is. Um, I have a part-time job that's leaving as of in, uh, March the 1st, and even though I have my full-time job, but that's a contract job. Um, do you see another job coming that will replace both of them? Um, and you're you're looking right now, right? I hope so. Right. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a couple months from now, uh, it's like a... Uh, it's gonna be a big. I can't exactly say what kind of company it is, but it's a pretty big company, and mm-hmm. they're. I, I feel like they're in a hiring freeze right now, but whatever it is, it's local too. It's not that far away, and uh, they're going to be opening up very soon for hiring, and it'd be a couple months. It's not a government job, is it? I don't think so. I don't. No, okay. this is this is private. It's. Yeah, government's okay. always hiring, aren't they? Because <laughs> <laughs> when you say hiring freeze, the only ones I know that <laughs> <laughs> have hiring freeze. 
Yeah, this place is a pri- it's a private company. I can't tell exactly what it is, mm-hmm. but it's a pretty big company, and it's it's they're yeah a couple months. I figure they'll let a couple it. Couple months. Yeah, but yeah, just keep okay. your just keep your resumes out there, and you'll stumble upon it pretty soon. Okay, so think. you can't make out what kind of um, area it. Mm, not really. Or whatever. Okay. It might be a place that does a several things. I'm not getting an exact detail of anything, but mm. it feels like it's. They it might they might do a several type of things. Okay, so, all in one. Okay. But anyway. And, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just keep it because the reason why I ask that because I don't know if I apply for it or not. So just. Um, but anyway. Not yet. No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. And my other thing, um, I want to see to you to see about self employment for me this year. Working out for me this year. Self employment this year. Mhm. Uh, I think the uh, end of the year something's going to work out. Yeah. Um, little by little, end of this year, whatever you're working on right now is going to start happening at the end of the year. Um, it'll be mm-hmm. a little. Well, I mean, yeah, I think, it, yeah, whatever you're doing, it feels like it's going to happen near the end of the year, maybe. Okay. Because Not getting exact it's, time. Okay, but it, because it's just with my uh, passion and and I want yeah. to see with, if I can do the self-employment this year um, because I kind of put it on the back burner because I had those two jobs. So now that I won't have the second job, I will focus more on trying to get me get myself out there. Um, and it's a creative yeah. work. Yeah, so, then um, is it? Yeah. Um, I don't have an exact exact month, but it says the end of the year. It you're gonna have it because it, it has to do with you how you're gonna, you know, it's free will. It's how you're gonna have everything together. But definitely the end of the year, you'll find something. Yeah, you'll get this going. So. Okay. Okay. All right, then. Well, thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Uh-huh. Bye. 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 Okay. Area code three one three. Hi. Hi. Have your Hi. name um, and question. Yes, sir, uh, Alicia. And my question is in regards to um, working from home. Mhm. Okay, so um, I'm going to see if you could help me with um, deciding which career path to take. Um, I have an idea um, of either starting a business with a resume writing, working from home, or ebook writing, working from home also. I'm really more so interested in which one will be the most, will, will manifest. <laughs> you know, financially quicker mm-hmm. first. Um, and also kind of like if that is also in alignment with my highest and greatest good. Um, let's see, resume writing or ebook writing? Uh mm-hmm. ebook writing, is that I mean you're writing your own ebook or someone you're just writing someone else's ebook or how does that work exactly? Well I don't um necessarily have a book developed Right now, mm-hmm. but um, one of the options I can do is like say like those um, older books that have gone out of copyright. Um, mm-hmm. I can take those books and you know turn them into eBooks, essentially. You know, okay. but you know that nice. kind of involves you know doing like the research to see which one you know which niche would be um, most profitable and what people are really looking for and what they're willing to pay for. So it's like that's that thing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the ebooks definitely. Um, the resume, I think both of them will, but the ebooks will do better. But yeah, I mean, I think if you can do both somehow, but um, mm-hmm. ebooks definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whatever, you, whatever you have, the ebooks are de- whatever you have in mind. Is yeah, see, that's the thing. Work. Like I have the idea of yeah. um, 
of the writing, but I just really have no idea what direction or what niche I want to or film would be best suited for me. You know what I mean? And that's kind of like one of the reasons why I've been kind of reluctant to go continue on down that path because I just really wasn't sure, you know, on where to go, you know, what (laughs) what to do. Well, I think you got to follow your well, you gotta follow your own instinct on that, but I think whatever you figure out on your own is gonna. I can't tell you that, but um, I think that's something that you can figure out on your own, and it will. It will work, whatever you know. Um, my feeling is education. If that make any sense? Educational books. I don't know if that makes any sense. Maybe not. Educational. Like college educational, yeah, spiritual education. Like yeah, some yeah, anything educational. Okay. That might that might make you know, that's just a, an idea, you know. That's the first thing that comes through, but yeah. Something that people need, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. you know. But I think you can figure mm-hmm. it out on your own. But definitely the ebook thing will definitely But yeah, resume writing is good too. I mean, you know. But the ebook's definitely going to go somewhere. So you got some, that's something you got to research and figure out on your on your own. Okay. Uh, you, I think you can do it though. You just got you got to believe more in yourself, and more in your instinct and everything. But I think you can do it. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. All right. Well, okay. thank you so much. Okay. Welcome. Bye yeah, bye. Okay. Uh, area code. Five six two. Hi, Whoa. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Colleen from California, and I have a relationship question. Okay. Um, my husband moved out of the country, and um, he, you know, we still love each other, we still contact each other, but he doesn't mention anything about coming back or or anything like that. So, just wondering if you're picking up anything as to what is going to happen with our relationship? Is it going to get back on track, or are we sure? You know, are you thinking of splitting up altogether? Uh, do you have your uh, your name? Name. Alex. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. What was that? Alex. Give me a second. And you said you haven't heard from him from a, for a long time? No, no, we talk every day. Oh, we talk uh, every day. By text, by Facebook, but. Oh, okay. You know, okay. yeah, he's trying to find a job and he's, you know, he doesn't really talk about the relationship at all. It's more like, hey, how are you? What'd you do? You know, we talk every day, but like any, he doesn't mention anything about our relationship whatsoever. Yeah, he's. Uh, yeah. He's got a lot going on right yeah. now, so um, whatever he's going through, and he's going through, I think once he gets through it, maybe. But I don't know. It, he's changing as a person, so. so I don't. It's up to him. I don't. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think he's, he's moved on. I don't know. But does that make any sense? Or at least for that regard, at least for relationship wise, or for friendship, it seems to be. Mhm. So. Okay. All right. Um, well, thank you. But, um. Well, I mean, you can always talk to him. Have you ever talked to him about it? Or any, yeah. Uh, he's just. He says he he's uh, still heartbroken and dealing with it, but you know, he wants me to move on and. So yeah. I'm just thinking, well, you know, if you're heartbroken, it's because you still care. You know what I mean? If yeah. you don't care about somebody, yeah. you wouldn't be heartbroken. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's like getting mixed signals and it doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, so. All right. Well, well yeah. thank you, though. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. Let's see. we got five more minutes. Okay, five six one. You're still there? Yeah, I'm here. Well, yeah. Sorry about that. No, no problem. I know. I'm just it's kind of an off night too. 
All right, let me see if I can read anything from you. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm having an off night too, so it's I'm doing the best I can. After all those, after all that energy from other people, hopefully I can break out of wherever I'm in. Yeah, you guys don't want me to know anything. And you said something about career, right? Yeah. What will you have for career? Um, I'm just gonna rattle this off. Arts, the arts don't make. Does that make any sense? No. Mm-mm. Doesn't make any sense at all. Now you're in a little bit, or um, a little bit. A little bit. Um, are you in a, like an artistic town at all? I mean, this, you don't have to be artistic to yeah. have a job. I mean, you don't have to be. I'm artistic. You can, I'm creative. You are or not? I am. You are. Okay. Good. So we're doing some. But as a hobby. But as a hobby. Okay. Um, as a hobby, huh, as a hobby, well, that's strange, I mean, I have a feeling that's something that you can, this might not make any sense, but it feels like, I mean, is it, I don't know exactly what it is, but is it like, uh, paintings and stuff, or drawings, or anything like that, or, Mm -mm. no, no. I don't know, what what kind of art is it? I have to ask. I, I mean, I create stuff, but not with paints and stuff. Yeah. Well, let's put it this way. The feeling I'm getting, whatever it is that you are creating, I think you can do something with that as for making money. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but that's what I'm getting. Does that make any sense? No. But as for a career, I don't know. It seems like the art, it seems like that's, the art seems to be a good place, I don't know, let's, let's put it this way, I feel like you're, I mean, maybe I'm not making any sense, it feels like you're cutting yourself short, you can do it, maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like you can, does that make any sense, at all, no, mm, kind of, I mean, it makes sense that, I don't know, and you say you make stuff. I mean, you have. Can I get more details on that? Exactly what it is, or like gift sets. I, you know, whatever. I just see something in my mind just go crazy, and I make stuff or design stuff. You know. Well, let's put. Um. Well, it feels like that. What you're that. Let's put it this way. That stuff seems like that can you can make a money from that. I mean, you have that, and you you have to just, you know, put your mind to it, and I think you can actually make a career out of it. Hopefully that makes... But um, as for a a job job, I mean, as a... As a job, I mean, like a... Just to make money, and do you want a, you want a job where you at least somewhat passionate with, or obviously, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the, I mean, I'm partially in the arts too. I haven't gone anywhere with it, but anyway, and I just get a job just to pay the bills. I don't really care. Um, you have to have some yeah. passion for it, right? Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. But like I said, the art stuff definitely don't. Put that in a corner. You definitely have some. Let's, you have something there that you can do something with it. That's what I'm getting. What, whatever you're, you're like, oh, it's no big deal. But actually, it is a big deal what you can do. So that aside, that aside, yeah, it shows any, but it's still recording. Um, that's why it's hard for, for me to pinpoint where you can go as for career. Um. Because it feels like it feels like wherever you feel like I mean, just, wherever you feel like uh, that will work for you. That is something that you know, something that you're slightly interested in. That is something that will work as a career. Um, as for exactly what it is, I'm not getting anything on that. 
Um, I don't know if office work is that make any sense. Um, uh, no. I got jobs. Um, yeah, give me a second. Uh, what about animals? Does that make any sense? Is that no? No, no really, really. Uh-uh. You don't like animals, not at all. I no, I'm do, guessing. but. No, 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 not eight. Okay. No, not working. No, no. Mm-mm. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. Let me give me a second. I'm gonna. <sighs> Is there anything that you're you have any passion for? I mean, job wise, can you just name off something that that you're like somewhat curious of? I need some detail. I need a little bit from you. To I'm in the healthcare field. Healthcare. You know, I didn't mention that, did I? I mentioned accounting, but that has nothing to do with healthcare. Um, but actually, it can. But you're not much in numbers anyway, right? No, um, unless I'm kind of my money. <laughs> uh health um is this something that you already have school for or just um I have school. What do you mean as for like an area in healthcare or Yeah. Like an area as for where, um okay. Um, I guess, you know, I'm surprised I didn't come up earlier about that. Uh, I'm surprised I picked on that. I think, um, I'm thinking like a small, like a doctor's office type of thing. That would be something good for you to be at, you know. Not my forte. Not your forte? Oh, yeah, you're a tough one to read, that's for sure. All right, give me a second. Yeah, give me a, yeah, give me a couple of seconds cuz um I'm not getting it. Yeah, your guy is really just not into giving me anything. I'm surprised they gave me what they gave me, just the thing about the arts. I'm surprised I got that. At least I got something. Like a, of them, like a uh, something as the nursing field. Does that sound right? I don't know. Yeah. That does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Something in nursing, you're assisting people, and yeah. So yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I don't know why you're. Uh, Guides are just like just they're blah they're thing about guides they don't want you know they they don't want to be you to be read you know that's the same with a lot of people they don't want you know they're like they guard you from people like me reading you, which is fine, 
But man, they just don't want anything to come through at all, which is good. I mean, that's a good, uh, you know, they're protecting you, so that's a good thing. But man, I never hit a block like that before. Um, not like that. Uh, yeah, nursing. Uh, you said you're already going to school for it, right? Or, or you already have school for it? Uh, sorry. I mean, you said you already have schooling for this, or you're going into it, or... I have schooling. School, yeah. Um, yeah, nurse, yeah, nursing, um, I think it'll take a, I feel like it'll take a couple of years for you to actually get your, for it to get going, but yeah. Once you get into the field and everything, yeah, it'd definitely be a good career. As long as you, you know, okay. stick with it. Yeah. But yeah, something on the nurse yeah. So does that help anything or right. sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry about the But that didn't help did that help anything? Yeah. I hope. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry about the slowness of everything, but I'm kind of off today anyway. So, all right, well, good luck. Um, if you want to call back again, feel free. So, okay, thank you. All right. All right, thanks. All right, bye. Okay, that was it for tonight. And uh, I'm going to give this a shot, see if this works.